Dr. Russell, what are you doing here? Wait, it's not Teresa, is it? We thought she was asleep. Did she call you? No. No, Teresa didn't call. Wait, then who did? Well, no one did. Uh, Eve's had a very bad time of it. She needs a place to stay for this evening. I see. Eve, you are more than welcome here. Thank you. I'll get your bag. Thank you, Julian. Eve, is there anything we can do to help? Anything at all. No, thank you. There's, there's nothing that anyone can do. Just ruined my life. Eve, you don't have to talk about this right now. Let me take you upstairs. Julian, what does it matter? Everyone's going to know tomorrow. You know what? You ruined your life. What do you mean? I'm staying here tonight because... I've destroyed my family. I'm a liar and a whore. Ethan and Gwen might as well know, Julian. Everyone's gonna know tomorrow anyway. Oh my God, Eve, what has he so upset? Years ago, before I met and married TC, before I was a doctor, Julian and I were lovers. Lovers? You and Julian knew each other years ago? We met when I was singing at a club in Boston. You were a singer? You were... The, the voice that you always listen to on the... tape. That's Eve. Well, to make a long story short, I... I started drinking too much, doing drugs. I'm not proud of it. It was a very destructive lifestyle. You make it sound as if you were to blame when it was all my doing. She was a naive, innocent girl from a small town, and I took advantage of her. Julian, I allowed it. I had to take responsibility for my own life. Tonight, my sister Liz exposed my past to my husband and my daughters. Wait, Liz is wait, your sister? Liz, Liz is your sister. Well, this is my sister, and she's held a grudge against me for years, ever since I left home. She blames Eve for the abuse she suffered from her father when Eve left. Liz wanted revenge against me, and tonight she got it. So I never told T.C. about my past. I guess I, I didn't trust his love for me, and now my husband hates me, and my daughters despise me, and my life is, is ruined. <laughs> so much tonight. Let me take you upstairs. Here, Julian, I can help Eve get settled. It may help to have another woman to talk to. Thank you, Gwen. All right, well, I'll, uh... I'll grab that. I'll check on you later. Okay. Thank you for standing by me, Julian. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Well, it, um, sounds like you've had a pretty rough night. Well, I don't care about myself. I just hate to see Eve go through so much pain. How's Eve? Well, she's in so much pain, honey. I feel really bad for her. Yeah, I feel bad for Julian. He had so much love in his eyes. Sweetheart, it is. More important now than ever that we don't let anyone or anything come between us. Okay, we need to cherish each other, our baby, our family. I know, I know. So that's why I think that once the baby's born and, and Teresa gives us our baby, that we need to leave town. We just need to leave Harmony forever and just never look back. Honey, we need to leave here. Okay, we need to move far away from here, away from our troubles, away from temptations, and we have got to put Teresa behind us. Uh, Gwen, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa's not a temptation, okay? I love you. I will never allow her to come between us again. Sweetheart, please, okay? We can't take any chances here. We have got to protect our family. We need to leave here. All right. All right, if it's, if it's that important to you, we will... Leave Harmony, okay? As soon as the baby is born, we'll go wherever you want to go, okay? 
Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Look, we're gonna move away from here, okay? We're gonna start a life that is ours. It's gonna be yours and mine and the baby's. Okay, it's gonna be wonderful. Yeah.